And to introduce Thomas is one of our industry experts, a friend and an incredible person himself. You'll hear more about him this afternoon, Steve Israel. Unbelievable video, I'm sure you agree with me. But I tell you what, arguably the number one defensive player to ever come out of University of Georgia, in my opinion. Not only that, 2005 first round pick, number 14 to the Carolina Panthers, and the list and all the accolades football-wise, it goes on and on. But in this day and age, you can Google all those specific statistics because my opinion, and in this community in Charlotte, a lot of people's opinion, that's down the list when you talk about Thomas Davis. You just saw this video, unbelievable video, right? When I think of Thomas, I think of three things. Number one, three ACL repairs. Three ACL. And if we had time, I would dive into it and give you a 40-minute lecture on a knee, because I know all about it. I've had five surgeries myself, including one of those at ACL. But I didn't have three ACLs. That, that's unheard of. Just to put it in perspective, there's players that I played with in college and players I played with in the NFL that didn't come back after one. It's not guaranteed. The percentages are much higher today, but it's still not 100% guaranteed. Thomas overcame three. And uh, I'm into knees, so I'm going to stop there and go to number two. <laughs> and number two is the most important one of them all. When you think of Thomas Davis, you're talking about an awesome father. He has four kids, I'm talking about an awesome father. Not just an awesome father, but an unbelievable husband. You saw Kelly. When I see her out in public and I see her down at the Fox station where I, I do my NFL analyst stuff, she's always smiling. The radiation of sun and brightness is, is gleaming off of her. And well, why do I say that? I was taught as a young kid growing up in Sunday school all the time, when you see a wife beaming and glowing, that means her husband is He's doing a good job. <laughs> Would you guys agree to that, ladies? <laughs> anyway, number three has obviously uh, been a big year, and that's the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. So um, without further ado, please help me welcome the 19, I mean 19, the 2015 Walter Payton Man of the Year for the NFL, uh, Thomas Davis. Steve, definitely want to thank you for all those kind words. Definitely appreciate it. Mr. Williams, thank you guys um, for presenting me with this award. Um, for me, as a person, as an NFL football player, I learned at, a, at an early age that this whole thing is bigger than me. Um, the reason that I go out and I do the things that I do for the kids in the community because I understand that there's a need. I grew up the way that I did, the way that you saw in the video, and it has definitely taught me all the lessons that I, that I live my life by now. Um, the more you can do to help others, the better off you're gonna be in the long run. There are a lot of parents that are struggling right now to try to raise their kids for whatever reason. You know, it's not for us to judge the reasons why they're struggling. Um, the kids didn't ask to be in this situation, just like I didn't ask to be in that situation growing up. So I play in a sport that's the most powerful game in the world. You know, I have an opportunity to go out on Sundays and, you know, do what I love to do. But during the week, I also get to do what I love to do, and that's help, help families, help kids. 
try to make a difference. And, you know, you walk around the community, you walk around town and, you know, people pat you on the back and, you know, you receive awards and you gain recognition. But for someone like myself that genuinely believes in making a difference and genuinely believes in, in helping out, that's not what it's about. Like I said, I do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. But at the same time, there's still a lot that needs to be done, that has to be done. And if the video would have continued, you see we had a call to action for some of the other guys in the league. There's a lot going on in this league. With it being as powerful as it is, there are so many people that are out to try to tear it down. You have so many guys in the NFL that are doing, that are doing great things that you never hear about. Um, I'm one of the guys that was able to um, gain some recognition and receive an award but there are so many other guys that are doing great things. And um, I just wish that there was a way that, you know, those things could be brought to light other than always hearing the negativity that goes on um, with NFL players. You, you have so many kids that look up to us and you would think from a media standpoint that they would try to uplift those guys that are doing the great things because there are so many kids that look up to us. And if you keep feeding these kids this negative energy and these negative things about players, then ultimately they're going to think that, hey, all players are bad, and that's not the case. So, you know, I can stand up here and talk to you guys forever, but I kind of miscalculated my flight time, and I apologize for that. Um, sitting here listening to some of the speakers that have spoke so far, this is definitely an event that I want to be here for all day. And um, unfortunately, I can't. But once again, I appreciate you guys for listening to me. And once again, thank you for um, giving me this award. You have a good day.